and is once again accusing Israel of blocking aid deliveries to northern Gaza. Israel has rejected some 95% of all fuel and medicine supplies entering that area. Well, let's speak to our correspondent on the ground, Hani Mahmoud. He joins me now from Rafa in southern Gaza. Hani, we know the bombardment, particularly in the south, has been incredibly intense. Has there been any let up? Yes, well, there hasn't been any let up in the intense bombings across the Gaza Strip, but it all looks like it's all started uh, all over again in Gaza and the northern part where more residential buildings have been targeted within the past uh, two days and then appears to be a surge in the intensity and the scale of the bombings where uh, the remaining buildings within the vicinity of Shifa Hospital and western part of Gaza City and Jabalia and Beit Lahia city, the, all the western side of these are being targeted heavily by artillery shelling and massive airstrikes. And there are more people are ordered to evacuate Gaza City. As of yesterday, late hours of yesterday's evening, four evacuation zones. And when we refer to evacuation zone, we're talking specifically about uh, um, UNRWA. United Nations for Palestinian Refugees schools, honor was schools designated uh, in, as shelters for displaced Palestinians. But four of these evacuation centers uh, uh, were uh, ordered to uh, e evacuate immediately and take the uh, Rashid Road, the coastal road, all the way to the central area. Now, there was a bit of uh, risk, in fact, a high risk of people leaving during night time taking the coastal road all the way to the central uh, area and due to the ongoing uh, uh, the blackout that no communication hasn't been has been very difficult to to confirm whether people have been able to evacuate these zones uh, or not but Overnight, uh, airstrikes in Khan Yunus, particularly uh, very concentrated within the vicinity uh, of uh, Nasser Hospital, but in the Samin area, that's at the southern part of of Khan Yunus city and it has a main road leading to uh, the main gate of uh, Nasser Hospital and the Jordanian Field Hospital came under heavy uh, airstrikes and artillery shelling and reports about extreme confrontation uh, with by uh, with within the uh, 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 the Palestinians uh, fighting a group with the Palestinian fighting groups on the ground and the Israeli invading uh, forces. But maybe the, the heartbreaking part of what happened is the entire uh, family, Abdul Ghafur family in the eastern part of Khan Yunus and Abisan, and for almost a month it has been disconnected. Uh, their remaining family members in Rafah and Khan Yunus were unable to get hold of them. Uh, but we're talking about the entire family, their in-laws, some of their relatives, approximately 30 people were found deceased inside their homes, their destroyed homes. From under the rubbles, they were removed as of uh, early hours of yesterday's evening, all reported to Nasser hospitals. The ongoing blackout just makes it very difficult uh, to, uh, 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 to know exactly uh, what happened, particularly with this example of the family just knowing a month later of their uh, family members being killed and trapped under the rubbles and deceased as they were pulled from uh, under the rubble. Now, despite the restoration of the signal, communication signals as of last night, it's uh, still a major part of the Gaza Strip experiencing a, a blackout as of this moment. Massive anxiety, as we're hearing there from Hani Mahmoud from Rafa in southern Gaza. Thank you, Hani.